Hello everyone, welcome to Play Games Office Hours, where we work through problems uh, posted by the community. I'm Stephen Yao, I was known as Yast on the forums. And today we're looking at uh, this red post where user zero is trying to use morph targets with a GLB. We actually don't have any tutorials on this or any product samples, um, and I'm surprised we actually don't have any previous posts on this. So I thought I used the opportunity here to make an office hours on how we can do this together. Um, so they very kindly uh, sent us a um, uh, example uh, file that we can use um, that has already has morph targets in it. So what we're going to do is create a new project. Uh, so model view example kit, it's public, private. Uh, call it F eight uh, morph morph targets. That's not how you spell morph. Morph targets uh, with GLB. And we're going to copy, and since we know we're working uh, with a GLB asset, uh, what we're going to do is grab the utils from uh, the GLB example. Let's see, go to models, materials, loading. No, uh, scripts. Let's go to scripts. Learn GLB uh, GL files, uh, open editor. So let's grab those two files, select, select, right click, copy, and let's paste, it, let's paste them in scripts. Okay, and let's go back to cube. All right, what I'm going to do is quickly grab GLB from Finder, so bear with me here. And let's get it now. Okay, so I've now got the GLB asset, which was kind of provided by the user. Uh, we go to open in viewer. We can see it's a, uh, a bun cake, I guess. And what we have here is in hierarchy, um, we've got multiple nodes, I think, and we've got more targets. So we've got two, two sets of more targets, one on the PM 3D sphere, 3D two one so that'd be this and one on two so it'd be these two that have the morph targets on them and we can see here yep so that's one that's eyelid left right and i guess that's mouth head what does, what does that animate what does that animate okay it appears not to animate anything so for this example we're just going to play around with these two these two figures uh, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, okay, so let's get this working in the example. So let's close this. I uh, don't need the API. Don't need. Well, let's keep the original tutorial. Okay, here you go. So let's get rid of the Playgrounds cube. Create a new entity. Odd. What not happened there? Create a new entity. Uh, get rid of the Playgrounds cube. And uh, GLB. Add our script to it that is for, to load the GLB. Give it the GLB asset. Change the camera so we're not we want to frame our start and we want to focus on the GLB object. Move this back a bit. Let's load that. Let's make sure we get this loading. So now we have our cake. Sweet. Okay, so the morph targets to way to manipulate the morph targets directly is to get the mesh instance and to get the mesh instance you need to get on the render so if you open this project up again and let me open up my personal dev tools and close this so we expand out the hierarchy uh we now have these two so these uh so the one we're interested in is this entity here uh 3d2 underscore one we know it's got a render component um, so this is the, so we can access the, if we go to our API docs, um, and we go to a render component. So what, from here, we can get our mesh instances, uh, in the mesh instance, uh, we have our morph instance and in the morph instance, we can, uh, set and get the weight of a byte index. So again, we go back to the uh, model viewer. 
the back down here, we know that the left eye is index zero and the right eye is index one. So it's something we can do. Okay. So let's quickly write a script for this. Um, what are we going to do? We are, how are we going to do this? Let's see. So what I'm going to do is create a script for the GLB. So let's call, let's create a nice easy script here that allows us to manipulate it at runtime. So go cake and uh, cake animation eyes. Let's call cake eyes. And we're going to create uh, two attributes here. Where are we going to do one for the left? So we're going to do a left eye weight. Left eye weight. So we're going to. We're going to create two attributes, one, uh, both, uh, both number types, one for each eye, so we can move them um, or change them in uh, at runtime. So rather than have so rather than manual, uh, rather than animating through code, we can just like, manipulate it through the UI. We do that in a bit. Uh, so let me show you right. Uh, I wait type number. And we can do. I think we could do min and max, aren't we? Min, yeah, we can do min, zero, max, one. We do the same again for right eye. And what we're going to do here is uh, GLB utils. Where's load GLB? When this happens, we're going to find an event on the NC. So um, this will allow us. Okay, so what we're going to do here is. Find an event on the NC where cake eyes will listen to, and then from that point on, it knows to find the entity in the hierarchy of the render component that we're looking for, and then at, during the update loop, we can set the weights. Uh, so go self dot this no sorry, self dot NC no not enabled uh, NC dot fire uh, and we go GLB loaded which is fine and then here we go this dot on no this entity dot on you'll be loaded and call function there we go uh this dot you'll be loaded actually no. what we're gonna do is um this dot Shall we? Let's get the render first. Um, tug uh, render component equals this dot NC dot search. Find by name. Get by name. Find child, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember what the API is. Um, is it find child? Find the hierarchy? I can't remember. I've done this for a little while. Find, 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 find. Components destroy. It's probably inherited. Ah, find by name. That's it. Okay. Find by name, and we want which target we want. We want this one particularly. Can I select it? Ah, uh, can't can't copy and paste it. Nuts. Let's go from here. And we want the render component. Oh, and then in the update. If uh, this dot render component does not null, then what we want to do is this dot. Actually, I wonder how many mesh instances are there. So let me just open up the debug window and go select the node dot render dot mesh instances. So there's one mesh instance. Okay, we can probably assume safely that there's one mesh instance. And in the mesh instance, there'll be a morph target, morph instance. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to assume there's only going to be one mesh instance. So this will be this dot render component dot uh, mesh instances dot zero dot morph so bar morph.
and then from uh, to make this a bit easier for to make this a bit easier on our uh, on our autocomplete, let's set the type to make it a bit easier to work with. Uh, so it'll just be pc dot uh, morph instance. So when we now use it, we can go yep yeah, uh, set weight uh, index zero for the left eye, and just be this dot our weight and for the right eye be that okay uh that should be good so if we could add that to this three parts of things so we've got sliders okay let's take a look at this let's run that and see if that breaks cool that was good so let me just move this over to the sides for a bit make it smaller uh, make it smaller here you go. so in theory okay so that's not working wonder why it's not working let's double check our code so p uh cake eyes are we calling this every frame oh we are not calling this every frame oh i made a typo whoops uh let's fix that Reload that. Spin that round. There we go. That was good. So you can see it's half closed. I we move it up and down. Updates are not quite real time, but you get the idea. So that's, that's looking good. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to create a checkpoint as we do always. Uh, example made. And let's quickly run through the code so uh to fully explain this uh so on startup load glb will uh load the glb asset from a container where um once so we'll load the glb from the asset using the binary using our uh, glb utils it will instantiate the render nc uh, hierarchy uh, which builds up uh, which uh so it will render it will create the hierarchy needed for the glb um with all the render components and um textures and materials etc we add that to our scene oh actually i said we add it to the nc that the script attached to we fire the event on the uh, nc that we're attached to on cake eyes uh we listen for that event once that event uh once that event has been fired we find the render component uh we, we get the render component because we know what node the render component will be under uh so we can find it by name and by using this dot entity that means we limit the scope of the search to do with the children under the entity we get the render component from that and then on the update as long as we've got the render component i.e the glb has been loaded and been added to the scene um we get the morph instance and from that we can set the weights using the index and the index can be found in the model viewer when we right click here, go to open viewer, we can see the uh, indexes here. So zero for left eye, uh, one for right eye. And then in the update, it will use whatever values that we have on the script attributes in the scene, which are here. And it will look like this. Cool. So let me uh, post this up and upload it to the forum. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.